This is the single most powerful technique that I know for improving your body. The 90-90 hip lift with hip shift from PRI. It does two things. One, reposition your diaphragm by anchoring the ribs down with your ab wall. Two, it restores a degree of neutrality to your body because, as Ron Horesco says, the human body is an asymmetrically designed system. We have a big liver on this side, a heart on this side, only two lobes of lung here, three lobes of lung here, and two very different hemidiaphragms. There is very little that is symmetric about our body. So if you feel like you are stuck in a pattern, you probably are. The identifiable pattern is called a left AIC, and there can be layers of patterns on top of that from injuries and compensations, but everybody underlying has this left AIC pattern, and you always want to try and unwind it. 90-90 hip lift for repositioning your diaphragm. So you're a 90-90, small ball, three to five inches between your knees, pillow for your head. I want you to keep your neck relaxed. Your feet are on the wall because I want you to feel the wall, especially your left heel, your right big toe and arch. Your back is on the ground because I want you to feel the sensory input into your back. You are then going to lightly press into the wall and float your pelvis off the floor using your hammies. Don't press into the wall too much or you're gonna get your quads. You can add a reach with serratus right here, reaching those fingertips up, which helps to anchor those ribs down to position the diaphragm. Your challenge is a full, complete, long exhale. You have to suffer here a little bit. And when you have taken a complete breath out through your mouth, see if you can pause and hold it for two to three seconds. Then the challenge is on the inhale, don't lose that ab wall tone. Breathe in, expand into that back body, but do not elevate your ribs. You wanna keep that ab wall tone. So one more time, you're floating your pelvis off the ground with your hammies, you're squeezing the ball. You are reaching, neck is relaxed, and you're breathing a long exhale, full and complete, easy inhale. Now we're gonna add in the hip shift. So you are going to shift the left hip back and right hip forward without too much sway side to side. Then hold on that left foot. I really want you to feel that heel and that hamstring and you are going to try to take your right foot off the wall and do not lose that hip shift. It is going to try and escape. It doesn't like to live there. Feel the floor, feel the wall. You are reaching, your head is relaxed. Pulling with that left hamstring, you could do it. Challenge is 10 full breaths out. Easy breath in, repositioning the diaphragm and then appreciating what this left hamstring can do to position the pelvis, which is gonna have effect on your breathing, your pelvis, your hip, everything up and down the chain. Hi everyone. So if you liked this video and you want more free routines, classes, information, on mobility and physical longevity, go to movement101.ca or click the first link below. And if you like videos like this and you want more, hit like, click subscribe, or make a comment below. I love hearing your feedback. I love hearing about what you want more of. Thanks for watching.